Hey guys, how's it going? One of the reasons that Age of Empires 2 is such a great game is because of the extensive counter system. Meaning that one unit is strong against another unit, but is weak against a different type of unit. One counter that I don't see that often in an Age of Empires 2 deathmatch game are monks used versus elephants. And I guess that a reason for this is because in a deathmatch game, you often see large groups of elephants, which would mean that you would have to have large groups of monks, and it's very hard to micro monks effectively in, when they're in large groups. However, I think that this is a mistake on many players' parts, and when used effectively and efficiently, monks can be a tremendous investment. Now, what got me thinking about this was a game I played recently where my enemies were the Persians and they were making a lot of elite war elephants and they were going to use those to push against me very soon. I scouted this and this was able to give me enough time to make a bunch of monasteries and to create several monks from those monasteries. I sent those monks in with some halberdiers and even though I lost the majority of my units, the Persians player lost all of his units, which could mean that I won this engagement. However, what I want to look at in this video is what the best circumstances would be in order to defeat elephants with monks, and in order to determine this I have done a few tests. In the first test I conducted, I had 32 elite war elephants versus 24 monks, and the monks were controlled by me. Now the reason I chose these numbers is because they both cost the same amount of gold, with monks costing 100 gold each and the war elephants costing 75. It turns out that even though the war elephants do win, they still take heavy losses. And I don't think that this situation would be ideal for the monks, but it could still hurt the elephant player. However, keep in mind that 6,400 food was spent on these war elephants. If you took the same amount of food or wood and instead spent this on 102 halberdiers, the results drastically changed to be highly in the favor of the monks. I did the same test again, except I microed the units to put the monks and the halberdiers in a corner and I put the halberdiers on stand ground as to allow for as many conversions as possible and it seems that the results were still pretty much the same. Now, in order to really explain how I accomplished this, you need to look at how I converted the units. What I did was I double clicked the monks to select them all, and then while pressing and holding control, I would select one of the monks to deselect that monk. I do this as quickly as I can, and what this results in is a situation where as few monks convert as few units as possible, thereby being as efficient as possible. I redid the tests against elite battle elephants, which are the new elephants that had been added in the Rise of the Rajas expansions. Now, the results I found were basically the same, but there's something I'd like to point out. Battle elephants only cost 5 less gold and 80 less food than a war elephant, and what this means is that from a gold standpoint, they're really pretty much the same. From a food standpoint though, they are a lot more affordable but still very expensive, so always keep this in mind when looking at battle elephants. I found the results to be basically pretty much the same when I looked at the war elephant, and this basically confirms that monks by themselves are still an okay counter, I guess, against the elephants, but they're really not that great. But when coupled with halberdiers to protect the monks, this results in an exchange where I would say that not only the Persians or Rise of the Rajas player gets weaker, but you also get stronger because you end up stealing their elephants. Also, keep in mind though that there are some civilizations in the Rise of the Rajas, such as the Melee, that have heresy tech, which means that the elephants do not get converted, they'll just die once they're converted if they have that tech researched. 
So that's basically everything for this one. I know it's a short video, but it's really a small topic to look at. But I'd just like to encourage everyone to use monks against those elephants, because it's a really effective counter, even against large numbers of elephants. See you later.